Come next month, government will begin to register all Venezuelan nationals in Trinidad and Tobago, whether legal or illegal. At today's post-cabinet media briefing, Minister of National Security Stuart Young said the registration will start on May 31st and end on June 14th. He said the registration exercise is estimated to cost $5 million. Marie Hull reports. They're calling it a Migrant Registration Framework Policy, or MRF. And what that means is that government will now be able to have a registry of all Venezuelan nationals in this country. To go through this two-week registration process. This two-week registration process is going to start on the 31st of May and it will. it is scheduled to end on the 14th of June 2019. I want to make it abundantly clear whether Venezuelans are here legally or illegally, once they come into the window of that two-week period and they register, they will derive the opportunity to get a registration card. They will have a work permit exemption permitting them to work for a year. Minister of National Security Stuart Young said that the registration process should eliminate some of the exploitation of Venezuelan workers in this country. He said the amnesty will allow Venezuelans to work for minimum wage and they will not be asked to pay NIS. Minister Young said Venezuelan nationals who are in immigration detention centers for violating immigration laws will be released and allowed to register. However, he said, if the nationals are not registered by June 14th, the laws will revert. If persons are not registered by the 14th of June, which is a proposed cut-off date, then the law reverts to them as is now. So you have an amnesty up to the 14th of June, you've registered. Once that registration period is over, we revert back to the laws currently exist. The National Security Minister noted that under the MRF, foreign nationals will not be guaranteed access to education or social services. The five centers will be stationed in Arima, Port of Spain, San Fernando, Cedras and Scarborough. Marie Hall, TDT News.